Natural beverages like kombucha have grown in popularity over the last few years. But an African immigrant here in Minnesota has found a recipe for success by selling wellness tonics inspired by none other than his grandmother. Maury Glover has his story. We have our Moringa ginger here, uh, which is also uh, really good for bone structure and hair growth and all that. Even though Uganda is half a world away, Henry Kisitu is bringing a taste of Africa to Minnesota. This has been passed on by my grandma to us, and now I'm trying to uh, you know, expand it from Africa to here. After losing his parents by the time he was three, Kisitu grew up watching his grandmother, or Jaja, Margaret Lutaya, make and sell indigenous African tonics in her kitchen in his native country. He continued that tradition when he got a scholarship to go to the University of St. Thomas where he met his wife Alexandra. But it wasn't until his grandmother died in 2016 he decided to honor her by sharing her recipes through his startup company, Jaja Wellness. I wish more people had known who she was. She knew a lot of medicine, herbal medicine, uh, that people are talking about right now. Kasitu uses traditional African ingredients like his grandmother in eight flavors of juice drinks that he says offer different health benefits. He sells them at farmers markets and co-ops around the Twin Cities where he enjoys watching people's reactions to his wellness tonics. We have a pineapple and ginger, we have a turmeric, we have a hibiscus lemongrass, we also have baobab, um, so these are things that we, we, we grew up incorporating in our foods. But Kasitu says he isn't just helping people stay healthy, he's keeping his grandmother's memory alive. I want my grandma's legacy to, to go on, but I also I want people to try new things. Like, uh, you know, if you don't have a chance to travel 18 hours to go to Uganda, here is something, a taste of uh, East Africa or a taste of Uganda. In West St. Paul, Maury Glover, Fox 9.